Hi and welcome to my playhouse and to Portugal. Um, I'm here at my house in Portugal trying to relax this time. Last time I was here I had a big project. This time I only have a tiny little projects. One of them is, um, well I did a review on this Geekcom a tiny PC which is here with me. Well it has been here since last time I was here and I have already switched to this tiny little PC so I'm using it down here and um, it has been doing fine. I haven't used it very long. I switched to it last time I was here just before I had to leave for home. But it is up and running and it does work very well. I do also have one of the little screens here which is like a portable screen. So I have two screens that is working on it and you can kind of see that works just as it's supposed to work. But when I was negotiating with Geekcom on this review video, showcase video, I asked them to send me a RAM block for it because I wanted to do something with this little PC. So I wanted to upgrade the RAM in it. And I thought for sure that the little PC would have 116 gigabytes of memory in there. And so I asked them to send me another 16 gigabyte block of memory. And then uh, the PC came and I was about to upgrade it. And then it turned out it had two eight gigabyte blocks in there. And so it did not make much sense for me to upgrade it to 24 gigabytes of memory and have unbalanced memory. So um, yeah, 16 gigabytes is fine for what I'm doing on this little PC, but I still want to try it out. So I actually bought another RAM block, same thing as they had sent me. And very fortunately, I found out that these RAM blocks has gone down in price quite considerably to uh, what I was uh, anticipating it to cost. So uh, yeah, we're gonna quickly try and put the RAM blocks in this machine and see if it, yeah, we're gonna run a little uh, speed test, put the RAM blocks in, uh, boot it up again, run a little speed test, and then we're gonna put the RAM in something else because uh, I'm not really gonna be using it in this machine. But I kind of promised that I was gonna be doing this and I don't like to break my promises. So it might be half a year later, but well, I don't wanna break my promise. So a tiny little overview. I have the Geekcom machine here. I brought an external Bluetooth loudspeaker for it. I have connected it to the wire though, but yeah. Um, there's no loudspeaker in the tiny PC. There is a loudspeaker in their tiny little monitor over here. This is a 16 inch full HD, uh, well, the, the big HD resolution. And that is connected to a Lenovo monitor. And I have an IBM keyboard and I have a silver crest mouse. This is, I think I bought it from Lidl. So I'm actually missing a webcam for this setup because I uh, forgot about that. And I use this setup for my Discord when I'm communicating with my patrons on Sundays. But well, I forgot to buy a webcam. I need to. I need to get something for that. Um, I'll, I'll get that. But that's the setup. So we need to shut this down. We need to. We need to run a speed test first. I'll figure that out. Just a second. Okay. I just managed to run the uh, a few uh, performance tests took longer than expected because as I was gonna run them well Intel decided that they had some updates for me but I run uh, Cinebench I, I, it runs once and then it continues to run another time I don't have time for that so uh, it did 6912 and I also run performance mark I still have that open here and that scored uh, I ran that twice first time it ran uh, 16,459 and then this run it run ran 16,541 I think we'll take the last one that's a hundred points better I like that so yeah I'll power down and we'll put in the more RAM I am not expecting any improvement ish but let's see where this brings us so we have it disconnected here and on the back of it there are four screws and I have prepared, I've gotten a screwdriver 
that is too big. Okay. Okay. This fat little one will do it. Short and fat. So. So this comes up. Um, okay, that has room for a hard drive. Uh, I forgot about that. Well, of course it does. Very nice. So, hard drive can be put in there. Um, but we have our two RAM blocks that we're gonna be doing here. You can see them here. So, I need to get this out of the plastic. I will, um, well, this video is kind of sponsored by Geekcom, but well, I have kind of done what they wanted me to do, so it's kind of not sponsored by them either. Ugh. And I only only got one of the RAM blocks from them, and I purchased the other one, just like it, the same, exact the same one. Uh, I think this one was the one that I got. It has this weird label on it, and well, they were available at my local hardware pusher so um, yeah got it from there uh. let's see if I manage to get it out of the plastic uh. I do so there we have those so let's take the two other ones out these are the eight gigabytes and they're they're exactly the same, just only half the size. So eight gigabytes and 16 gigabytes. There. And then we'll just put the 16 gigabytes in and it shouldn't make much of a difference. Just twice the amount of RAM, but let's see. Weirder things has happened. Um, we're gonna be taking them out in just a little bit, so I don't think we need to put this in very hardly. Uh, there. No need to really screw that in. So let's see what happens. Power on. If we are good to go. Yep, something is on. Something is happening. Boom, boom, boom. Looks exactly like before. Awesome. Discord. Remember, if you're a patron, I'm on Discord every Sunday. see if it sees the 16 gigabytes that should be here properties it sees 32 gigabytes that was also what I wanted to see I just said it wrong so two times 16 naturally I'm gonna run the tests and I'm gonna give you the results running pass mark and running Cinebench okay the results are in there is more or less no difference whatsoever so uh, with two times eight gigabytes uh, we get we got more or better results overall for the two tests because the second test down here it didn't score very high 15,000 that's about a thousand lower than but then I ran the test again and it scored just like up here ish it's about the same and um, so actually the numbers are ever so slightly lower just a smidge just a tiny bit smaller I have no idea if this is because of the RAM or if it's because of something else so um, yeah it makes no difference whatsoever I have, uh, have this bird out here I'll see if we can focus on her. This one, it has a tendency to want to come in here. So 
So now I've opened the window to see why it's want to come in here because it flackers on the window as if it's supposed to be able to come in here and I'm kind of afraid that it might have if it had been in here and has a nest somewhere I don't think so but who knows okay the 8 gigabyte blocks are back in um, I kind of I thought I will try and put a hard drive in here and I have an SSD here it's rather large it's an enterprise SSD but well it goes in here I uh, don't think it's how is that supposed to go in there okay so you need to press down on it and then it goes in hmm okie dokie we have that in so we put it back in and there is this um, security slot that needs to go in over here so it's kind of obvious which way this goes so well we tried out more RAM but we have uh, updated it with some more storage instead oh and that was a 1.92 terabyte SSD so it's it's good a good size Good to go. That drive shows up in here as test 36. So uh, apparently um, I have tested that at some point. But the real reason why I brought RAM to Portugal this time is that we up here in the very secret has my little NAS server sitting. And that only has four gigabytes of RAM. Uh, it's that one. At the moment it's off. So we're gonna take that down here oh does it reach can i do this with one hand many questions there it can sit right there and we can disconnect power there and the network cable and that one is in the bottom one okay yellow cable remind me so this one only has four gigabytes of RAM. We want to put in some more. Here we have the TerraMaster F2 423. It's a two disc unit. Um, of course, this is a, a NAS and it feels like you're gonna break these every time you want to take them out. I put 10 terabytes in them. Oh, eight terabytes in them last time I was here. So let's see, this one is number one, it's on top. So we're gonna take those out and then we're gonna take it apart. I think this longer screwdriver is gonna help me out. There should be four screws that come out. system like this and we have the the built-in RAM block down here and we have a kind of it's not a built-in RAM block it's the it's the RAM block that comes with the system 
and then there is another one on the back that can so that you can expand it so we're gonna take this one out well there's nothing in the other one so there's nothing to take out so uh, and we're gonna try and put those two ram box in and this one is a ddr4 4 gigabyte uh so dim 1000 uh 2123 megahertz i do believe these are considerably faster i don't think it's going to do anything for us but they are and they need to go this way unfortunately there was room for a double slot here that would have been neat but yeah they um, um i'm not running the the terramaster software on come on <laughs> I'm not running the... <laughs> I'm chasing the RAM block here. <sighs> they didn't make this easy. <sighs> that way. I'm not running the Terramaster software on here. I have installed this unit with Proxmox. So a hypervisor. And um, yeah, I want some more RAM for my hypervisor. And that one goes in here. So this unit has NVMe drives down here. I only have some tiny ones in here. So there's like, I think there are 128 or 256 gigabytes. They're not, they're tiny. Uh, I could expand that with something a lot better than that, but well, that's what we have right now. So if there's room for improvement, might come along the way. I'm gonna put this back together and uh, we'll see if um, Proxmox sees this. Ugh. Unit is back together. Awesome. Very nice. Let's uh, power it up and see what it does. It's back in place. Let's power on. And Proxmox is up and running. It's using not a lot of CPU, um, it's not doing much, but the RAM here is now at 31.20 gigabytes, which is a huge improvement. Like, well, that's like, yeah, that's like eight times as much RAM as it had before. So very awesome. Um, also, I have my server 2022 that I've installed here, Windows Server. I gave that three gigabytes of RAM, that's like, it had four gigabytes of RAM before, so I gave it almost all of the RAM. Now I can probably go and give it like six or eight gigabytes. Oh, I might as well just give it eight gigabytes, as long as there is nothing else running on this machine. Um, it doesn't really make much sense to have the RAM doing absolutely nothing. So maybe even 16, I don't know. So, yeah. So that worked out just great. Um, I uh, tested out the RAM in the little machine, which I promised to do when I got this machine from Geekcom and couldn't do, or it didn't make much sense to do that uh, because I was gonna be making it worse with the uh, unbalanced RAM. So now I got to test that. It cost me a little bit, but I usually only say yes to these corroborations with companies if I have something to use the product for and can see that it might be interesting to sh showcase and do a video about. I don't do collaborations with companies if I don't find the product interesting and something that I would use myself. But I do also promise the company something in return and yeah, I negotiated that RAM block and then I didn't get to use it and I kind of feel bad about that so now I am. Uh, I concluded that, now I don't have to feel bad about it anymore. We did that and I moved it over into the TerraMaster, uh, which uh, I also wanted to upgrade. And this one was fine, but the TerraMaster was ridiculously low. I still have the four gigabyte memory block sitting somewhere on my table here. Uh, I don't know, four gigabytes isn't what it used to be. So thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so you can see me again and have a really nice day bye bye by the way that bird gave up <laughs>